Biden, the son of President Biden, is facing new federal charges. He's now indicted on nine tax-related charges, and a special counsel's investigation into his business dealings is intensifying. ABC's Liz Landers reports. Explosive allegations against the son of the president newly charging him with nine tax-related crimes. Special counsel David Weiss accuses Hunter Biden of failing to pay $1.4 million in taxes from 2016 to 2020 after earning more than $7 million during that time. Prosecutors write that Hunter, quote, spent his money on drugs, escorts, luxury hotels, exotic cars, clothing, and other items of a personal nature, in short. They say, quote, everything but his taxes. The indictment says that he earned millions from foreign entities, the White House not responding. If you read the indictment, it's really a speaking indictment. It talks about Hunter Biden's business dealings with China and the Ukraine. Hunter's attorney framed the indictment as having no new evidence and accused Weiss of, quote, bowing to Republican pressure, saying if Hunter's last name was anything other than Biden, the charges in Delaware and now California would not have been brought. He has paid $2 million in back taxes to the IRS. Biden has already been charged earlier this year in Delaware with felony gun charges after a plea deal with prosecutors fell through. He pleaded not guilty. Republicans in Washington have been investigating Hunter Biden for more than a year now, alleging that the president also profited from foreign business dealings, the subject of an impeachment inquiry in the House. James Comer, the House Oversight Committee chairman, said in a statement that the charges don't go far enough. Quote, unless U.S. Attorney Weiss investigates everyone involved in the Biden's fraud schemes and influence peddling, it will be clear President Biden's DOJ is protecting Hunter Biden and the big guy. The six misdemeanor and three felony count charges could carry a maximum of 17 years in prison if Hunter Biden is found guilty. In Washington, Liz Landers, ABC News.